Okay, I'm standing at the front door, and so there is a retaining wall up here along some commercial property. Um, it eventually may be a hotel, but not back this far. This may be parking or something on the other side of that wall, but not the wall. Um, you come out here, so I was standing on the front porch, so this is between the house and the garage. Just kind of looking around here. This is a unique property, um, so all of this has been graveled in. I'm going to walk up here to where my car is. So you've got a driveway coming in here. So Glen Drive that this is on is basically a dead end. Uh, coming up here, at the end of this street you have the Pilot gas station and the boat storage and the fire department and then this is the end of Glen Drive which just tees off into this road which I believe is probably Shopman right there. So this is the house next door. This is the garage we'll get in there and then this is the other house next door. So this has a really nice driveway into this property. Um, Interesting enough, it's got some sort of a, what I'm thinking is probably a French drain system here that goes both directions to keep the water out of the garage. It's also got a dip. You've got this beautiful garage. And I don't know how tall those doors are, but that's, that's pretty darn tall. I'm going to say guesstimating 12 feet. Um, definitely oversized. So it's got power all down the wall. It's got a little drink fridge, more power, and then you've got this one here. So it is one heck of a garage. Got a little bit of cracking on the concrete, but that is kind of what concrete does. It cracks. So coming back around, here's the front of the house that you can see from the street, side of the garage, plants, some nice decor as far as landscaping, you know, not not super overdone, but enough to, you know, have a tree here, which is nice. So this is where it gets interesting. This is walking into the house. These floors are wood grain tile, so they're actually tile, but they're wood grained. And I'm going to go out this way just a little bit. Okay, so you've got a wall here. It goes up, so it's got the pitched roof. And then backing up, you've got this large sofa in the living room. It's obviously been an Airbnb. The tile is just very well done. I mean, very well done tile work on the floor. Coming around this way you have a dining room and then I want to hit the kitchen before we do anything else. You've got a beautiful backsplash all the way around. You've got a Frigidaire side-by-side -side stainless. You've got Frigidaire microwave that and then the drawers aren't soft clothes, but they're all pretty nice white cabinets. So this is pretty cool. You've got another little drink cooler over there. I guess you could put garbage there or a trash compactor. So you've got stainless steel sinks. They look basically brand new. Dining room table. Really quite pretty. Just gonna throw that in there. So from here, before I do the bedrooms, I'm gonna walk outside and just sort of give you an idea of what I'm looking at. So this is the back porch. Looks to be made out of treks. It's all in excellent condition. And then you've got some astroturf down here. More landscaping and rocks on both sides, but this is kind of what's cool. This chunk of land right there, 
So this chunk of land is owned by Greenhaven Development and there's no access to it. I believe it's just open space um, that way. So let me show you what I'm looking at standing here. Let me show you what it looks like right about there. So that is the view from this back deck. The interesting thing to note, and in fact, it's even a little more than that because Tower Butte looks to be about like that. So the interesting thing to note here is that the houses down below are already built. So they're not getting any taller than that. So the views here are just like literally out of the world. There's Lone Rock right there. So say hi, Lone Rock. Anyway, it is really pretty spectacular views from right here. Not gonna minimize that right off your back porch, but not only is it off your back porch, these doors over here are the master bedroom doors. I'm not gonna open them from the inside, but they are sliders that come out to this really well done back patio area. So going back inside, I should have probably turned more lights on. More surprises. Off to the left here, we have the bathroom. This is the guest bath. So you've got granite, dark bottoms, excellent porcelain sink. Literally, this all looks brand new. And this tile job on this shower is also pretty incredible. It comes down here, you've got that, and then you've got the handles, the tub. Anyway, this is just super nice. So coming around back, another view of that, and you've got the continuing tile in here. So going out and continuing to the left, We've got the laundry room. So washer dryer, it's got storage up above. You've got a water softener and a water purification system. Home water softener, I guess that's all the softener. And then over here we have a on-demand water heater. So those are kind of tucked back away. Coming back out of the laundry room, once again, hanging to the left. We have a bedroom. Good sized bedroom. And it's got carpet on the floor. Doesn't show any sign of aging really. And then it's got a really nice size closet in here. So that's this bedroom. So going back the other way across the hallway is bedroom number two. So this is the sunken bedroom. It's got a view of Lone Rock right smack out the window. And it also has a really nice closet in here. Good, good storage. And then let me just stick this out here. But yeah, this has a Oh, whoops, how to do that? I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, it's not focusing, but like that's way far away, but it's like right in your face. There's the lake and Lone Rock right out of this bedroom. So coming back out to the main living space and down the hall here. So we're back into the dining room, kitchen, living room. And then here's the master. So it's pretty darn good size. That is a king size bed on a big sleigh bed frame. And there's the patio doors that go back out to this. I'm just standing inside and it looks just about like that. So turning back around and then go back. So we have a pretty incredible bathroom here. You've got a different tile pattern on the floor in this one. It matches what's in the shower. Granite on the countertops, Jack and Jill sinks, dark bottoms. 
Coming around this way, you've got the toilet room, and then you've got a snail shower, one that kind of wraps around all the way down into here. So the controls are on this wall, and then it's got a seat, a bench there. Well, I guess it's more of a shelf built in there. So that's the tile. That light is kind of messing up my phone, but and it's got the same tile on the floor as what's out here. And then it has another very large closet in here for the master. So kind of a walk-in, you know, but definitely big enough. I'm coming back out. That's a good size dresser. So this is a good size room. And there's the front door again. One more shot of the living room. So there you have it. I'll get this uploaded.